There is grace enough to save the one who sins afresh should he repent. But grief and sorrow glower upon him, the penance ripping him apart. Yet reason cannot yield to wrong, and saves at once the innocent. For no judgment from God's throne would chide or purge the pure in heart. Contrition, true, may cover guilt, and mercy cleanse it in his sight. But she whom guile never bent is innocent, redeemed, and right. This is right, I know for sure. God will save two kinds of men. The righteous man shall be made pure. The innocent shall come to him. The Psalter says it, and the Lord. Lord, who shall reach and climb your holy hill, the one without flaw, who served you, faithful from the womb, who works for love with every limb, whose heart is as pure as light. The righteous one shall not stumble. But the innocent are redeemed by right. The righteous man I also know, the one who opens the fortress door, never takes life in vain or blows his trumpet in his neighbor's ear as Solomon's great wisdom shows, and wisdom is indeed the cure. Through narrow straits the wise soul goes, and God's word drives out his fear, saying, Look, heaven is here, it is yours, earned by your plight. But peril never ventures near the innocent, she's redeemed by right. Of righteous men, David says in his Psalter, you've surely heard, God's judgment falls on him who serves, and no man living is justified. You'll come to court at his summons, when all our cases are cut and dried, and though you plead, still your sins will hem you in on either side. But on a bloody rood he died for this, his hands nailed tight, and in your place he was tried by innocence and not by right. Let the righteous read. It's right that he should look upon the book and learn how Christ walked in antiquity and parents brought him babes and bairns. They pray that he will bless and heal their children and he turns to touch them. His disciples howl reproaches, and many are deterred, until he holds up his hand and tells them, Bairns are welcome in my sight, and all of heaven is firstly theirs. They're innocent and safe by right. Righteous Christ told his disciples, there is a kingdom you'll never win unless you come as a little child. The grown are barred, they'll not get in. The harmless, helpless, undefiled, unspotted by some smearing sin. They stand and knock, shy and mild, and on its hinge the door swings wide open. Bliss beckons them within. That bliss for which the jeweller searched and sold his goods, both wool and linen to buy a pearl so unbesmirched. That pearl is unbesmirched, so dear the jeweler sold off all his goods. It's like a globe of heaven, clear as Yahweh's firmament and flood, for it is flawless, crystal clear, round and endless like the world, the jewel of all whose holy fear was cleansing. At my breast it glowed, my Lord, the Lamb who spouted blood, he set it there, pledged peace and reached into my heart. Forsake this raging wild world, buy this pearl, it's unbesmirched. You pearl, unbesmirched and pure, who wears, I swear, the pearl of price, what maker formed your fair figure? Who made your clothes? For he was wise. Your beauty bedazzles mere nature, 
Pygmalion failed to paint your face, and Aristotle couldn't conjure out of words your virtues, grace, and properties. You shame the fleur de lis. Your radiant face is angel-touched. What oyster opened to unleash a pearl so pale and unbesmirched? My unbesmirched lamb amended all, she says, bade me be his bride, and I, unworthy of his call by worldly rules, could not deny him. I left your dank world, the fool mouldered it. He blessed me, high as heaven. Come here. I couldn't forestall. No spot or stain is to be scried in your white skin. He gave beauty, swilled my clothes in blood amidst his church, and crowned, cleansed, acquitted, plied me with pearls, all unbesmirched. Unbesmirched bride who burns like flame, Consort to Christ, rich and alive, what kind of creature is this lamb who woos with you and makes you wife and with such competition? How'd you climb to lead with him a lady's life? So many women must come, comb their hair, flutter eyelashes, give strife to Christ. Do you have the skill to drive them all away? Don't they screech at you? Are you so powerful and alive, a matchless maiden and unbesmirched? <laughs>